The BlackBerry Passport came out in 2015. It was an unusual phone then, and it's an unusual phone now in 2019. There was nothing like it on the market. With its 4.5 inch 1 to 1 aspect ratio display and its full size QWERTY keyboard, the BlackBerry Passport is definitely still the outlier it was four years ago. I purchased a BlackBerry Passport to use in 2019 to see if it could still do what it was so uniquely designed to do back in 2015. The keyboard has and always will be the reason why people use Blackberries, and the Passport is no different. What I can tell you is that the keyboard does exactly as advertised, and then some. Sure, modern Blackberries like the Key 2 have similar keyboards with the Android experience, but it's not nearly as wide as the keyboard found on the Passport. With the Passport, you have 4.5 inches of tactile typing freedom. On top of this, the touch-sensitive keyboard makes scrolling through web pages and other gestures that you would normally do on the screen a complete joy. This was introduced on the BlackBerry Passport and, due to its success, has found its way on newer BlackBerry phones. So, between the capacitive touch keyboard and the extra wide tactile keys, the keyboard really is the highlight feature of the BlackBerry Passport. Other clever features round out the keyboard experience, such as swiping back on the keyboard to delete text using the capacitive sensor, as well as a very well implemented auto suggest feature where you swipe up on the area of the keyboard to select the auto select word. Another thing that BlackBerry got right on the Passport is the design and the build quality. With its metal accents and the rubberized back, this is definitely a daily workhorse. The phone feels good in the hands and there's something about the sleek black, modern industrial design that just makes you want to get some work done. The stainless steel framing makes it comfortable to hold with one or two hands and the soft touch rubber backing adds to the ease of use. And yes, that's right, that's steel on the side of this phone. The BlackBerry Key 1, which came out later, had a similar design comprised of aluminum. The construction and the materials used contribute to a design package that is obviously orientated to work in business. For added practicality, you have a headphone jack and easily accessible micro SD and SIM card slots, which can be accessed by simply removing the top cover, as opposed to using a SIM tool. It also makes it very practical for business trips in the event you're switching phones and switching SIM cards. As opposed to having the tool on you, you just pop the cover off and switch away. This makes the Passport a great backup phone or secondary phone for business trips. Have the Passport on you for emails and or document processing and have an iPhone or something similar for media consumption. So, what's the verdict in 2019? Well, the BlackBerry Passport is possibly the perfect form factor for business and work. Do newer Blackberries offer Android, which is a better and more updated operating system? Yes. Are there more media-friendly phones with 16.9-inch screens on the market? Yes. Are there any other phones with a 1 to 1 aspect ratio and a full size 4.5 inch QWERTY keyboard? Nope. The BlackBerry Passport is the only one, and likely only going to be the only one for some time. If you want to get some work done, get a BlackBerry Passport.